All right, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick scope here and let you know just some of the stuff that we've been learning here. I just came from the Capitol here in Michigan, and we have there was a hearing there in the Energy Committee uh, on HB 4220. This is the Michigan opt-out bill. Uh, you'll see my earlier tweet uh, with the hearing information there. Uh, we have a good bill here in Michigan. So if you happen to live in the state of Michigan, I highly encourage you to go to the Michigan Legislature website, uh, search out HB 4220, and read the bill. It's only, I think, like seven pages. It's, it's not a hard, hard bill to read at all. And, uh, and, and, and then contact your state legislature and urge them to pass it. Your state legislator needs to hear from you on this bill. This is a great bill for the consumer. Uh, from looking at the, uh, from attending the hearing just uh, moments ago and last week, I believe the only people that really support this thing are the other power companies that are going to benefit from the smart meter technology. I'm, I'm talking about the only people that are against it. The people that support it are the consumers. It's a good bill. Needs to be supported by everybody. It, these smart meters. In fact, I saw a question during one of our streams from somebody who was asking, well, what's a smart meter? And that's the point. If these things are so wonderful, so great for the consumer, why haven't the power companies told the people about it? Why haven't we had the option to, uh, to opt out? It, it makes absolutely no sense unless, you know, all the fears that everybody has are, are realized. The point is, these things are intelligence devices. They're collecting information on what you do inside your house. Who knows where that information is going to go? Uh, but for many states, uh, you know, some of these power companies, I know here in Michigan, uh, over in the eastern part of the state, there is DTE. They've been very ruthless in their installation of these, of these smart meters. They're calling them enhanced meters. It's the same thing. Basically, it's a computer that they're putting on the side of your house, uh, and it is collecting information about what you're doing inside the house. Uh, it, 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 unlike the old traditional analog meters, where they just have a, they just measure one thing and that is the amount of electricity coming into the house these things collect information about uh, what appliances appliances are being used the signatures each appliance has its own signature and so when you start your vacuum cleaner it's got its own you know the the way it draws current is different from your refrigerator uh, when you kick on your dryer uh, it's it, it's going to know oh that's a dryer uh, so it's and it also knows when you're home. It, it, I, I said one, at one point it's like Santa Claus without the presents. Uh, it knows when you're sleeping. It knows when you're awake. It knows when you're home. It knows when you're away. So these things are, are, are draconian and and they need to be at least at the very least people should have the right to to not have these things on their houses without having their power cut. That's the point. And that's all this bill would do, HB 4220 here in Michigan. I think this is a good bill for other states as well. So if you don't live in Michigan, uh, you should pull down this bill and take this bill to your state representatives and urge them to pass it because it needs to be supported. Like I said earlier, the only people that seem to be against this bill are the power companies. They don't want the consumer to be able to have a choice to opt out. Now, there's some other information I wanted to point out to you, and this is really the reason why I'm doing the scope right now. Uh, just, just today, we have a situation here. Science Daily uh, has an article out, and I, I'm trying to keep this in focus. Uh, electronic energy meters false readings almost six times higher than actual energy consumption. This was out March 3rd. I just discovered this last night, and I... Among the things they say, they say some electronic meters can give uh, false readings that are up to 582% higher than actual energy consumption. Uh, this emerged from a study uh, carried out by the University of Twente in collaboration with the Amsterdam University of Applied Sciences. Uh, and it's got a professor in here of the UT estimates that potentially inaccurate meters have installed have been installed in the meter cabinets of at least 750,000 Dutch households, and that study is published in the scientific journal IEEE Electromagnetic Compatibility magazine. Now I do have the study here, and the study, uh, 
Well, the page, I, I dropped it in the floor here. Hold on. The conclusion of this study. The conclusion, let me just, pardon me. All right. The conclusion of the study. It says, conducted electromagnetic interference can cause misreading of static electronic meters, energy meters. This was already observed in the past, but for only, only for cases with lower energy reading. In one actual case, the cause of the misreading is the interfering currents caused by active in-feed converters for renewable energy. In this paper, it has shown that also higher readings are possible. Electromagnetic interference tests have been introduced so that static meters will be immune against this type of interference. The static energy meters are used for billings and if a customer files a complaint, the meter can be calibrated. However, this is done using ideal uh, voltages and currents. In other words, an ideal environment is where they're gonna calibrate the meters. Well, in our current living environment, you know, it's not ideal. The currents deviate substantially due to the non-linear loads of modern equipment. I realize that's out of focus. That's I'm, but that's, I'm reading it, so you have to bear with me here. Controlled experiments performed on static energy meters confirm that they can still, they can present still faulty and substantially higher readings. The main cause of interference appears to be the current sensor. Meters with, uh, with a certain coil current sensor showed a positive deviation of 276, 276%, folks. Uh, these things can spike 276%. That's higher for your energy, you know, you're going to be billed <laughs> almost three times as much. Or an increased reading of 376% using a controlled power supply with undistorted voltage and defined impedance. Uh, compared to the reading of a conventional electromechanical meter based on the Ferraris principle, uh, meters with a Hall sensor showed a deviation of registered energy of negative 46 or a decrease in energy reading to 54%. Using the mains supply in the laboratory from nine static meters, five showed positive deviations. Positive deviations. In other words, you're going to be billed of up to 582%, which is higher energy reading of 682%. And two showed deviations around negative 30%. So these, these are wild fluctuations. Wild fluctuations in power readings with these smart meters. And that is a study that, like I said, just came out. It was just reported in the Science Daily on March 3rd. This is reason enough alone. For, forget the health reasons. Forget even the privacy consideration for just a moment. Just the billing issues alone should alarm everybody. Uh, until they get, and this is the thing, folks, this is something that's being foisted upon people without their consent. They were never asked. They were never consulted. It's being pushed on your house. You have a right to stand up to this. This is it's impacting you on a very personal level. So uh, those that live in Michigan, HB 4220, urge your legislator to support this bill. Very important to be able to have the option of turning this down. That's all we're asking in this bill. And then for those that live in other states, find out if there's a bill in your state. Read it. If not, uh, pull this one down and use this as a model for your state. Take it to your uh, legislators and push them to pass this bill in your state. Because it's a good bill. And my hat's off to Linda Kurtz of the Smart, uh, Smart Energy, Smart Meter education network she's done a lot of good work on this and her group and the people a lot of hard work has been done to put into this bill and so my hats off to those that have worked on us we appreciate that all right that's all i want to say for now uh but please folks don't go to sleep on this uh, this is a very important thing uh, to preserve your freedom